Good morning to you on this Thursday. We continue with Galatians 2 today from verse 15. We are Jews by nature and not sinners from among the Gentiles. Nevertheless, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Christ Jesus, even we have believed in Christ Jesus, so that we may be justified by faith in Christ, and not by the works of the law, since by the works of the law no flesh will be justified. But if while seeking to be justified in Christ we ourselves also have been found sinners, is Christ then a minister of sin? May it never be. For if I rebuild what I have once destroyed, I prove myself to be a transgressor. For through the law I died to the law, so that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ, and it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. I do not nullify the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. There's a lot here. I wanted to give you the whole context. We'll break it down over the next few days. So Paul is here reminding us of the foundation truth is that everybody is justified the same way. Everybody is justified by faith in Christ Jesus. It's not by the works of the law. If we could be justified by the works of the law, then we would have to keep every single commandment all of the time, never break a commandment. The problem is we're already born with original sin. The problem is that more or less all of us break the first commandment. You shall have no other gods before me. Every time something is more important to us than God, then we have broken that commandment. So if our salvation, our justification was dependent upon keeping the law, we'd all be lost. We'd have nothing. We'd have no hope. We'd be gone. Thankfully, it's not through keeping the law. Jesus took care of it. We are justified when we believe in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on our behalf. Jesus shed his blood, paid our sin debt in full, so that when we believe on him, we are justified. What a wonderful, wonderful truth that is. And it means that we can have a sure and certain hope of the resurrection, a sure and certain hope of eternal life when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Good works are important, but they come after we're saved. We become a good tree and a good tree bears good fruit. But the good works do not contribute to our salvation. Jesus did it all. It's his blood. We are justified not by keeping the law. We are justified by faith in Christ Jesus. And that's really the guts of what Paul is uh, talking about here. It's central to the gospel. Nevertheless, knowing a man is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus so that we may be justified by faith in Christ, not by the works of the law, since by the works of the law no flesh will be justified. We'll look at the other verses um, tomorrow and maybe the day after if need be. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you, thank you, thank you so much that our salvation is not dependent upon the keeping of the law, because none of us can do it. We thank you that our salvation was taken care of by the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Jesus, your final words were, it is finished, it is done, you did it all, tetelestai. Thank you, Lord, bless you, praise you, worship you. We just thank you, thank you, thank you so much that we can have a sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life when we believe on you, that we don't have to keep wondering, did I do enough? Have I kept the law? Thank you so much for the freedom that we have. May we never abuse this freedom, Lord. Help us to realize that once we are saved, then we are to be a good fruit for your kingdom, to bring honor and glory to your name. We just offer ourselves anew to you this morning as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you, and pray that you take us by the hand, that you lead and guide us. Lord, we bless you, thank you, and praise you so much. Just thank you again and again and again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, we just commit to you our governments. We pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and understanding, that you would help them, Lord, to realize um, that they ultimately serve you, that they would not be serving themselves, that they're here to uh, benefit the people. Lord God, Heavenly Father, give them wisdom and understanding in these very difficult times. Father, we pray for the Ukraine. We pray for an end to the war there. We pray, Lord, that uh, you would just defeat the enemy. We pray for those who are suffering here in Australia um, from the new floods that we're having again. Uh, it's just been so devastating for these poor people. And Lord, we just pray for your mercy. And we thank you for all who are out there assisting and helping them. We pray that you would protect them and keep them. We thank you, Father, for the SES volunteers, the police, the army, and everybody else that's rallying around to help. Lord, would you just bless them and, and help them through this difficult time? 
Father God, we commend to your care the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. We pray for the soul that doesn't know you yet. We ask that today that heart would open to you. We pray for our loved ones near and far. We pray that you would protect them and keep them from all evil. And now, Lord, we combine all of our prayers by praying together the prayer that you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.